Hey Gemini, hope you guys are all well. So this is going to be a general love reading for the first half of November 2022 for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And it is a general reading, so it's not gonna resonate for all of you, which is perfectly okay. It also means that the roles can be reversed. So you might be a Gemini or you might be cross-watching for a Gemini. Either way, this reading is going to be for how your person is thinking or feeling about you, just what is going on with them just overall. If you would like a personal reading, you can find all that information in the description box. All right, Gemini, let's see what is going on with you or your person. What are they thinking, feeling about you? For the first couple of weeks of November 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right, starting off the reading, we have the Two of Swords crossed by the High Priestess. Okay, so this is someone who is, I feel like they're like at odds with you. Um, I don't know if there has been some kind of a disagreement or, um, yeah, it just feels like this person is maybe just holding like this, I almost want to say like rebellious stance against you. Um, really interesting, but it's like, their intuition is telling them something different, right? So they're kind of stagnating. It could be that they're having a hard time making a decision or just kind of like being at odds with you about something. And it might even, I'm just getting this, it might even come off as being a little bit immature, kind of like the way a teenager can rebel. Like it, I'm just getting that kind of a vibe. Um, so yeah, definitely could also be that this person is just, you know, being quiet, um, and not speaking much, but again, it's giving me that vibe of like being pouty or just, you know, a little bit of an immaturity playing out here. Let's see the recent past. We have the Fool and for the near future, we have the Three of Swords. Okay, so it could be that there was something um, a little bit reckless in the past or maybe um, this person took some kind of a leap, some, some type of a risk. But again, it could just be them, you know, playing out something in a little bit of an immature manner. Whatever this is that has been going on, it's it's going to lead them to a little bit of heartbreak here. Um, let's see. Their consciousness, we have the King of Wands, and for their subconscious, we have the Hanged Man. All right, interesting. So they do feel this passion for you. I mean, I'm getting a little bit of an immature energy, but then we have the King of Wands showing up here. So it, it does feel like at the same time, this is somebody who's very like fiery, um, which can sometimes play out a little bit on in an immature type of a way. So definitely this person is thinking about um, their, their passion for you. And I feel like maybe that's why they're reacting in the way that they are. Cause if they didn't care at all, then, you know, they just wouldn't even need to react in this way that they've been reacting. And yeah, they still, they still want you, um, with that King of Wands being there. They still want you. They still, they still feel this, feel this drive towards you. But again, hanged man, they're holding back. There's a lot of holding back here. We'll see more when we clarify. Let's see their current energy towards you. We have the Queen of Swords for your energy towards them, the Nine of Wands. All right, and for their hopes and fears, we have the Six of Cups. All right, Gemini. Um, yeah, it's like this person is being a little bit like harsh or stern or just maybe a little bit cold and distant at the moment. I do also get though that, I mean, they're just really going to get a lot of clarity here at the same time, um, moving through November. And all of this is just going to lead them to this pain, right? And sometimes that's what needs to happen in order for us to, you know, to wake up or to learn a lesson and to see, you know, exactly what it is that we need to do. I do also see you feeling like, you know, this is just getting too burdensome like it's just getting too tiring too exhausting for you to handle and it just feels a little bit almost impossible and so I feel like you are also you know guarding yourself against this person in some way but it's interesting because six of cups here you know they do want this reconnection with you and I do get that it's a strong connection but it's it's like right now maybe there's just a lot of triggers 
So, because this person is reacting in a strange way. Um, let's clarify. Let's see. Okay. The Two of Swords with the High Priestess. And we have the Hierophant. All right, so Taurus energy. We have the Queen of Cups and we have the Five of Pentacles. Wow. All right. Definitely a very strong connection. This is this is somebody who just feels this like connection with you, like it could become something really, really big, or it just feels like it's something really big and really important. And this could be something that actually feels intimidating to them or makes them fear fear um losing it. And so, I mean, I do get that even though there is love here, I mean, it just feels like this person is kind of shutting you out. But what's interesting is that they're also feeling alone. Because at the same time, it's like they're shutting their own self out from the connection as well. Let's see the King of Wands. The Nine of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. Yeah. It's like this person is trying to stay detached because they have a fear of loss. They have a fear of, you know, what will what would happen if, if you know, I get attached to this and then I lose it and then it's just really sad and there's just so much grief. I also get, you know, that whatever it is that happened here, what has happened in the past, there's regret around that. But I feel like that energy, that energy of regret currently, it's actually serving to discourage them. Like it's kind of like somebody sulking in their own mistakes. And so because of that, like just holding back from the drive that they have to move forward because they feel like, well, I made a mistake and you know now I feel shitty about myself. And so for that reason it's like they're trying to keep themselves detached because they have this fear of you know messing up again or a fear of losing this. I'm even getting that they might not they but they also don't want to hurt you. Let's see the hanged man. The Six of Swords and the Five of Swords. Yeah, the fact that they're keeping this distance and moving away from this connection, it's deceptive. They think that they're doing what is going to be um, for their best, but it's not. It, I feel like they're just ending up hurting themselves in the process. So what's happening here is really like this behavior that they're going through right now, it's serving as a really big lesson for them. Because eventually, like, they're going to face the consequences of this. And I feel like the, the consequences are coming up very, very fast. Let's see the Queen of Swords. For their current energy, we have the Hanged Man again. And Temperance. Okay, so Sagittarius. Some of you might be dealing with Sagittarius. Um, I think I said we also have Taurus. I am getting strong Aries as well. Um, <clears throat> yeah, they're trying to maintain some sort of peace here within themselves. And it's, again, it's not going to work. It's just leading them to that three of swords, to that pain. Um, it's like this person is keeping their distance. They might be, or they might come off as being a little bit harsh and aloof and standoffish. But behind all of this, again, there are major lessons that are being played out and all of this is happening so that they can see something more clearly. Even the hanged man talks about seeing something from a different perspective. So the fact that they're not, you know, doing something differently at the moment, that's what's going to help them to see that, well, what it is that they are doing is not leading to a favorable result. It's not leading them to peace. It's not helping them find that balance, which is what they're, um, what their intention is, what their goal is here. Like if they can just, you know, stay away from you, then, you know, everybody maybe can be happy. 
because they regret what they've done. I feel like they, they, it's like this person is fearing their own self or just how they feel about themselves because of something from the past. Let's see the nine of wands for your energy. The ten of swords and the six of pentacles. Yeah, you're you're tired because it's like you've been giving more energy to this person than this person has been able to give back to you. So you have not been receiving as much as you have been giving. And this is really hard. This is really, really hard for you. And so I feel like, you know, you're you're just kind of um almost like you're you're fighting back in a way where you're just like resisting any kind of urges you might have with this person or you're just holding back you're defending yourself that sort of thing and that does create pain it's like you're trying to come to terms with you know maybe that maybe this is just done maybe this is something i should just walk away from and it's not easy it is it is painful for you i can see that let's see the six of cups for their hopes and fears. The Eight of Swords and the Ten of Wands. It's almost like this person um, has this fear that they won't be able to be responsible enough or that, or that whatever it is that happened in the past, that they will have to carry that burden um, for a long time. Feeling like they're trapped by something that happened in the past and that this is always going to be like some kind of a um issue so whatever that is i don't know like how much you would want to resolve it i mean i do see you feeling the pain of, of this ending or you know f feeling like this could never happen and that's not pleasant for you i'm not sure if you like still want this person and you know Things can shift. Things can shift. Um, it really just depends. This is just what's happening now. But definitely, you know, you, you're not going to want to stick around for something where, you know, the other person is not, is not giving to you at least as much as you are giving to them. So that's, that's pretty much what I'm seeing for now. But like I said, you know, this person is learning a lot and they are going to feel these consequences here. So let's actually take a look at that. So three of swords coming up in the near future. And yeah, I mean, for their hopes, I mean, they do want this. They do, they do want to reconnect with you. They're just afraid of, you know, what that would mean and if they're gonna be like stuck having to um, constantly like make up for something from the past almost like a fear of that not being resolved all right let's see three of swords the queen of pentacles sorry the queen it's the queen of wands i don't know why i said pentacles but some of you can take that if that um if you know about tarot and the queen of pentacles resonates for you all right queen of wands and the queen of swords so two queens here wow which we already had the Queen of Swords here. And I do see that as also, you know, being you showing up here. We have the King of Wands here um, and now the Queen of Wands. So to me, that is talking about like, you know, this being some kind of a soulmate connection because I feel like, you know, there are a lot of triggers. So there are a lot of lessons for them and there are a lot of lessons for you. Does that mean you need to end up together or that you are meant to? Not necessarily. That's, you know, your, follow your intuition on that. I cannot tell you that. Um, I'm just trying to say that, yeah, there's definitely a lot going on here and that this person was definitely meant to come into your life, whether it be, you know, for long term or for short term. All right. Anyway, so back to this three of swords here. Yeah, this person is definitely going to feel a lot of pain in terms of you because yeah, I do feel like you're the one who is going to, you know, be cutting them out and that you are, this is just you. Both of these queens are representing you. You are finding your own sense of self-worth here. It's like you're standing strong. Um, you're being very, very confident in terms of what it is that you accept, what you don't accept and on what you deserve. And 
this is actually like, you know, really making this person think, okay, well, maybe, you know, I should do something about this. Like that's going to create heartbreak for them. So what happens after that? Yeah, well, I guess time will tell, but they're definitely going to feel the, a heartbreak in terms of you. Whether or not they're going to take action after that, I don't know. It's not being shown yet, but usually it's after this heartbreak that, um, that we do try to do things differently. All right, Gemini, let's see <clears throat> if this resonated. Let's get the final oracle message for you. And we have the new moon in Cancer. You and your loved ones are safe. So take that um, in any way that it might resonate for you, if this means something in specific to you, something you've been thinking about. I'm also seeing it as this is kind of like what this person is learning, that you know they can feel safe in a connection, even if something was messed up in the past, as long as they take some action, resolve this fear, resolve whatever that is, and really step into their power, that this connection can be safe and that they can feel safe in it because it's like they're not feeling that security or that safety because they don't feel good about themselves because of, of the past, as I've been saying. So, that's what they're learning here. All right, Gemini, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching, much love.